of Babes is the movie, guys. Babes. The movie is Babes. 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 She's a babe. She wrote a movie called Babes. And I want to say two things about just, and I'm not going to give anything away because there are some like, I, guys, this movie is so enjoyable and so delightful and so relatable for anyone who, by the way, has been, is a mother, has been, at, or is not, tr yeah. truly, because yeah. it's really about female friendship too right. and like yeah. about the and people that help you. Losing your friends when they have kids, losing them for a period and being like, no. Yes. yes. And then your friend is a zombie suddenly. And then I think they do eventually return to human form. <laughs> we return to human form. Yeah. Um, and like, I also just want to say that um, th there's a labor scene with you in the beginning. And I, it was not over the top for me as a person totally. who gave birth naturally with no drugs and was screaming. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know screaming. you were a hero. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Michelle, I want to just say one thing about that. <laughs> Anytime I can get drugs. I was. <laughs> By the way, I was young. I was young. I was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did actually think I was gonna get an award. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How old were you? I was. Tw I had just turned 29 when I gave wow, birth to Birdie. 29. Oh my God. I uh, was 29. Yeah. And I really. I just started paying my taxes at 29. Uh huh. <laughs> are doing this? But this is like. But that's also like I started. You know, I was like on a TV show when I was 19. Right. That's right, why right, like people. Right. That's why like Christina Aguilera had a baby at like 23 or yeah, whatever. Because she's like, I did it all. Now what? I'm yeah. telling you, old souls become young spirits. Ooh, Ooh that yes. is. I'm gonna Oprah yes. you. Say that again. Old souls become young spirits. That's right. You did a lot of stuff and now you get to have fun. That's right. Um, well, I find so much of in what the things that are in the movie relatable. Um, I heard that some people's reaction is that some of the comedy is gross. Yeah. What yeah. A raunch com. A yeah. raunch com? Oh, a raunch com. Um, <laughs> so I wrote this movie with Josh Rabinowitz, is my co-writer, and he produced it. And one of our producers, Susie Fox, kind of had, this was her like brainchild. And, we put a list together of, I was pregnant at the time when I wrote it and Josh's wife was pregnant. We were like right on track together and um, we put together a list of the most surprising and absurd things that were happening to us as we were becoming parents and mm -hmm. experiencing it. And we were like shocked to rack our brains for movies we've seen this stuff in and there really weren't many. And then when we sent this script out to the industry or whatever, some people got it, which was lit. Phil Nation, thanks for getting it. Um, who uh, paid for it and range, thank you. Um, paid to make it like right away, which happened so rarely. rarely. It was yeah. so speedy. Within a year, we wrote it and it was greenlit. Like I so love that. rare. Um, but a lot of people's response was like, this is really blue. Real blue. <laughs> really raunchy. Right. And it's like, ha have you spoken to any woman about yeah. her uh, experience authentically? Have you yeah. ever listened to a woman and heard for you know, a, a, like three seconds beyond your comfort level, what her experience is on a day-to-day -day basis? This isn't blue or raunchy or gross. It's absolutely real, especially yes. with pregnancy. Pregnancy yeah. is insane. I love that you guys just leaned into like the honest truth of what it is like for women to go through this. Right. Because it's insane.